If you look at the word success in Arabic, you'll probably find two, maybe three words that fit the word. And the first one is tawfiq. Wa ma tawfiqi illa billah. My success is only by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so the idea of success is success by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And tawfiq is when your actions are in harmony with the mashia of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with the providence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When one's actions become harmonized with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's will, this is tawfiq and this is success and there's no success out of that if you're not successful then in English you're called a loser and in the Quran you're also called a loser only they're called khasirun hum al khasirun they're the losers they are the losers and if you want to know the best definition of the losers then you look in surah al-kahf because Allah says should we tell you who the greatest losers are those who have completely lost all of their endeavors in pursuit of the dunya. And they think what they're manufacturing, what they're doing, what they're making is this good thing. It's a great thing. Those are the losers. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about them, they're the ones who have been in great towards their signs of their Lord when they didn't think that they were going to meet their Lord. So they lost all of their actions. All of their worldly pursuits were lost. We give them no weight on the Yawm Qiyamah. We give them no weight on the Yawm Qiyamah. And the Prophet ﷺ says that there will be huge fat people that come on Yawm Qiyamah who were in this world, they were arrogant and proud and rich and wealthy and people look up to them. And he said they won't weigh even a gnat's wing on the Yawm Qiyamah. They have no wazan with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when Ibn Mas'ud, who was a very thin man, was climbing a palm tree and some of the Sahaba saw his legs, they, they laughed at the, the, the legs were so scrawny. And the Prophet ﷺ said, Beware about laughing at this man's skinny legs. Because wallahi, on the Yawm Qiyamah, those legs would outweigh the mountain of, of Uhud. You see. So this is, this is the Qiyas, this is the criterion of the believers. Our criterion of success is not the criterion of the Kuffar. We have a very different criterion of success. But the interesting thing about success by its nature is that success in the dunya and success in the akhirah have very similar qualities and attributes. People that are successful in the dunya, very clear things can be identified amongst those people that will indicate how they became successful in the dunya. And the same goes for the people of akhirah. And so what I would like to do is first, Look at the idea of failure, because by opposites things are known. And so if you understand failure, then you will understand success also. In the Qur'an, the word fashil, which is failure, there are four uh, verses in which fashil or failure is mentioned in the Qur'an. And we should look at these verses deeply and consider what they mean, because if you want to understand failure, then look at what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about failure and how failure comes about. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and Allah was truthful when you had failed. And Allah is talking about Uhud, because if you want to understand failure, then all you need to do is study the ghazwat of Uhud, which is why so many verses in the Qur'an were given to the analyses of what happened on the day of Uhud, in which the mu'mineen were better prepared than they were prepared on Badr, and yet the, the Uhud did not have the same outcome as it had as Badr. Now, in the Qur'an, Allah will sometimes put what should come first, second. This is very common in the Arabic language. Failure is related to tanazu'. And tanazu' has to do with when you disputed amongst yourselves. Because the Prophet commanded a group of archers to maintain on this small mountain overlooking Uhud to protect the believers. And when they saw the, the goods being distributed and they thought there was clear victory, this, a group of them left. And the leader that the Prophet ﷺ had put in charge told them, don't leave. And only a small group remained with him and the other ones left and they disobeyed that the Prophet ﷺ had put in to charge. And this caused the failure when Ikrimah ibn Abi Jahl and Khalid ibn Walid took advantage of this situation and they attacked the believers before they had become Muslim and they caused a great uh, tragedy amongst the believers. And uh, we lost uh, shuhada which were gained with Allah subhanahu Allah took back to them shuhada and so it was a victory in the end because the Prophet said your dead are in the fire and our dead are in paradise but Allah wants to explain to 
was. And you disobeyed. So you had tanazur and you had isyan. So if you want to understand failure, it's very clear. Disobedience to Allah and His Messenger and uh, disputation amongst yourselves. No people goes astray after they had guidance except they're given disputation amongst themselves. And so disputation amongst each other is a sign of failure. And this doesn't mean that we can't disagree and, 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 and look for... No, a disagreement is important. Ikhtidafu hadid ummah is rahma. The differences amongst this ummah is mercy, but the differences has to be based on knowledge. It can't be based on empty opinions. It has to be based on what Allah and His Messenger say, and not on what we think and what my opinion is. And in my humble, and, uh, humble opinion, there's no such thing. If you're seeing your opinion as being humble, you're already in a state of arrogance. I mean, quite literally. Uh, Ibn Atayla says, the one who sees his humility has lost humility. So we, and a lot of people say it, and they don't think about it, just because it's something that Kufar like to say, in my humble estimation. You won't see that in any of the Salaf say, fi ra'i al-mutawadi'. Because first of all, opinion is something, Imam al-Shafi'i said, knowledge is qala Allah wa qala Rasulullah wa ma siwahuma wa sawisa shayateen. Knowledge is what Allah said, what His Messenger said, and other than that is whisperings of shayateen. And one of the signs of the end of time is i'jabu kulli bi The, uh, the uh, amazement of every opinionated person with his opinion. The, then Allah says, from amongst you are those who want the dunya, and from amongst you are those who want akhirah. Now, I prefer the opinion of the Maliki scholar from Alexandria ibn Atayillah who said, don't think that Allah is saying they wanted dunya for its own sake. Those were the Sahab of the Messenger of Allah and the best of creation who were defending the Prophet of Allah on that day of Uhud. They wanted dunya for akhirah. But their desire for that dunya for akhirah, there were those who wanted dunya so, solely for the akhirah, and there were others that didn't even care about dunya, they only wanted akhirah without any looking to the dunya. And this is a good makhraj for the Sahaba radiallahu anhum.